How's it going everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I'm your host Fahim Mushi and I'm a vocal coach, voice teacher and singer. And today I'm going to be reacting and analyzing to Dimash Kudai Biarkin, uh, Daybreak Bastow 2017. So this video, first of all, is, is on his official channel, so that's pretty awesome. Um, so the quality is going to be really good. Um, this video came out on 17 August 2018, which was, you know, it's been a while. Um, I'm not sure if I've reacted to this video before in my older channel, which I unfortunately lost, as some of y'all know. But either way, I'm super duper excited for this one. So let's go ahead and react and analyze this video together. Before we get started though, if you're new here, I would really really appreciate if you go ahead and subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell because I will be uploading videos very very often for you guys. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends, I would love that. As you guys know, I'm a voice teacher, I give voice lessons around the world via Skype, so if you guys are interested for voice lessons or if you guys want to critique your singing, then you can go ahead and check me out at Fiverr.com, which I will leave a link on the description. Um, I also have a Facebook page and an Instagram account where I try to share my videos on my personal singing as well as, you know, me coaching other people out there, helping them with their singing and whatnot. So with that all being said, let's go ahead and jump right into this video. So this song is in the key of E minor. Love the musical arrangement. Love the chord choices. Very soft, breathy singing, almost like a whisper. He's singing a breathy tone at a B3. That's actually pretty hard to do, believe me or not. So, good job. Now on an A2. Nice. So he went down to an A2. So the falsetto now on fourth octave. Nice, now he's adding some air to the falsetto. You see that? Beautifully, you know, um, what's that term? What's that term? Oh my god, I forgot that term. Crescendo. <laughs> crescendo. So he basically crescendo into that sound from that soft falsetto yet connected tone end to a, like a mixed voice kind of coordination, which was beautiful. Like that's probably my favorite part so far. So let's continue. Wait, I'm gonna rewind that. Alright, let's go. Nice. So he's in this kind of light mix first coordination. It's very light, it's almost like a false setup, but it's not quite there. I would say this is more like a 80% head voice and 20% chest chest voice combination, so it's pretty interesting. It's getting louder there. And then softer, showing a lot of dynamics in his first bridge area. Light mix. Light mix. Very soft chest voice singing there. Falsetto. Beautiful. Wow. Awesome. Wow, look at his tone. Oh, 
but let me pause for a second. I love the vowel choices, okay? So he chose the narrow kind of vowels, right? It's not super dark, it's not super bright either. It's very kind of speech-like kind of vowel, although it does uh, shift towards more of a darker kind of sound, yeah? Although it's not that dark. I've heard him doing darker vowels. It's a lot darker than what he's doing here. So um, essentially, he's um, in this kind of light mixed voice coordination, right? And it's kind of getting softer and louder there. Like the top time, it was like a 40% chest voice, 60% head voice, and then it back down to like a, a more 20% chest voice and 80% head voice. So it, it's, it's pretty interesting. Lots of dynamics here. Nice, that's, that's louder. Baba. are happening here I feel like I have to analyze here so he was singing in his first bridge and then he went straight to his third bridge in a mixed voice kind of coordination right I would say that was more like a speech like mixed voice maybe 60% chest 40% head so yes it was kind of gearing towards a chesty dominant mixed voice right he's going for the E5 C5 C5 and then he went up to a G5 in his mixed coordination and then he that flipped into that beautiful soprano type head voice falsetto coordination which was beauty, beautiful executor and he stretched that head voice all the way up to like an E6 like towards his whistle register came back down again effortlessly no cracks or breaks whatsoever and this is one of the things I really 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 like about Dimash is that he has mastered the art of you know the vocal cord closure of vocal cord compression which allows him to you know do all this crazy stuff awesome man I'm gonna give more analysis later but let's continue Back to the soft voice, chest voice really low. Oh man, that run, that run, I'm gonna cry, I'm gonna cry, oh my god, beautiful executed. Wait, and there's a B flat, I think, B flat 4, let me see. So it's a minor, uh, harmonic minor 7, harmonic minor, yeah. <laughs> lit as fuck. This performance is lit. Oof. Wow. Oof, what a beautiful falsetto. Oof. God bless you, bro. God bless you. One of the best male singers I've ever heard in my life. He really touches me here, man. I'm telling you. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Okay. So, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up and then I'll give you guys some thoughts and some analysis. Oh my goodness. Guys, what just happened? What just happened at the end of the song? I mean, he just went from like a sort of 3 or 4 to like a 10 instantly and he just slayed it i mean beautifully executed his mix was on the third bridge area excellent job i mean effortless effortless his voice is effortless and then he shifted into that kind of soprano head voice which was again beautifully executed went up to like an e6 crazy high ass note i mean it's it's mind-blowing okay like at this point i just don't feel like even analyzing his you know videos anymore because he's just so good um, so the type of um, let's talk about the type of uh, head voice that I did. So obviously, as he went past that E5, he's not really getting it louder. He's using the mic to amplify the sound, right? <coughs> I'll show you what I mean. So if I go, it's a very quiet sound. And 
if I do it that way, first of all, that's actually pretty hard to do. Like most male singers, they're gonna pull their head voice up. This type of sound will allow you to get into that whistle, flash, lay register, whatever term you wanna use it. This is the weight, vocal weight that you need in, in order to be able to go higher, uh, past an A5 per se, because you can do rock screams and get louder, but you will hit a wall right around like a C5, maybe a D5, like if you really pulled your head voice, like I can go up to like a D6, D sharp six, but that's about it. And I don't do that every single day because that's not good. It's almost like you're pulling your chest voice past your break in a wrong kind of manner. I mean like mixed voice, when you go mixy, sure you can do it, or if you have like really strong vocals, but still it's not something that you wanna do every single day. You have to shift modal or mode, like it's like M2 to M3 or false at a head voice to a flat delay whistle, right? Um, so the sound that I just did, he's kind of doing a very similar thing, but obviously his voice is a lot more developed than mine and he can take that all the way up to, to his whistle notes effortlessly without any issues whatsoever. But listen for that sound and now compare that with uh, compared with what happens to when most male singers try to do it past that even they're gonna go and they get this louder sound and you'll see that they will smile and they're gonna get very big with the sound which kind of sounds cool kind of sounds rock but that's not what Dimash is doing my friend that's not a soprano kind of head voice sound it's not that it's dark color the vowels different it's a lot quieter Okay, and doing that quieter sound past an E5 is hard. Like if you're a male, just go ahead and give that a shot. You'll see what I'm talking about. If you're a female, try this out around a B flat five or C6 and higher. You'll see how hard it is. Now, unless you're very good with your sort of higher part of the voice, I mean, females will find, it's like when it comes to range, female will always have an advantage over male singers because it's, first of all, their passages are in a higher, place than a male and their voices are more towards a heady side it's like a lot of vocal coaches out there will say their uh their voices are two-thirds head voice one-third chest voice whereas for males we're two-third chest voice one-third head voice so range is always a struggle for male singers always no matter what okay no matter how good you get you will still have some struggles here and there i mean unless you're dimash though that's a totally different story <laughs> but yeah um like really good stuff guys i mean like this is badass and the mix that he went to, like very kind of pharyngeal mix, although he wasn't getting super whiny with it, which I like. He kept some darkness in that mix was, which was pretty awesome. And his stage presence, like the way he's, you know, showing off his emotions and, you know, dominance in the stage, beautiful executed. And then he kind of jumped down into his knees at that. That was my favorite part of this performance. Really, really good job, guys. And um, yeah, I don't want to make this video too long, guys. I, pr I feel like I've said pretty much everything I have to say. So I'm just going to go ahead and wrap it. So there you go guys, that's my reaction and my analysis of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction and my analysis, because if you did, then please don't forget to give this video a big old thumbs up, share this video with your friends and families, and if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that notification bell, because I will be uploading videos like this a lot, so make sure y'all are staying tuned for all that. Let me know down in the comment section what you guys thought of this video and if you guys want me to keep on doing more Dimash Kudavi again videos or anybody else for that matter, then let me know down in the comment section and I will get them back to you as soon as I can. So yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.